In 1959, a scientist, Robert Whittaker, who classified the whole living organism into five kingdoms. Kingdom Plantae, Kingdom Inimedia, Kingdom Fungi, Kingdom Protesta, and the last is Kingdom Monera. But later, Kingdom Monera were divided into two major groups, Archaea and Bacteria. Still, there is some differences be between the Archaea and Bacteria, therefore it were divided into two. Ancient people thought that Bacteria and Archaea both are same. But now, here is a lot of differences. In this video, I am going to explain the difference between the differences between the Archaea and Bacteria. Let's start it. The first difference between Archaea and Bacteria, both are microorganisms, both are unicellular, both are prokaryotes, both are uh, uh, considered as a monera, but still uh, here is a lot of differences. The first is cell, cell membrane contains ester linkage, while here cell membrane contains ester bonds. You will be confused with the ester linkage and ester bonds. Students, cell membrane contains leafed and protein. Cell membrane, uh, the leafed and cell membrane is leafed by air, as we explained in cell membrane. That if we take here, this is This is a simple diagram for cell membrane. This is the, you can see, this is the protein. Here, the middle also protein is present between the two uh, uh, leafed. This is the leafed layer, you can see this is leafed, this is leafed. Now, what does this ester linkage? Ester is the bond which is present between the two lipids. So here, you can see a linkage is present between the two lipids. You can see between the two lipids a linkage is present. That's why in Archaea the cell membrane contains ester linkages. While in bacteria this linkage is absent. Means that it is ester bond. Here this is the ester bond. It means that both the lipids are connected with each other with the bond which is known as ester bond. So it was the first difference between the Archaea and bacteria. Let's come to the second one. Cell wall lacks peptidoglycan. While in bacteria, cell wall is made of peptidoglycan. Now, you will also confuse with the peptidoglycan. Peptidoglycan is basically the combination of protein and glucose. Protein or carbohydrates. Here in Archaea, the cell wall contains uh, cell wall does not contain any protein and carbohydrates. While in bacteria, the peptidoglycan means that protein and carbohydrate is present. That was the second. Now coming to the third difference. They having three RNAs. Archaea is basically behaving like other eukaryotic organism. They having three RNAs. It means that this RNA will laterally convert into DNA, DNA. Both are same, but in one RNA contain only a single stranded, while DNA is double stranded DNA, double stranded. So here, uh, the RNA is three, that's why it is also behaving like prokaryotes. So here, uh, the three RNA will uh, combine and make DNA and it will behave like that of uh, other eukaryotes. While well, here it consists of only one RNA and bacteria is completely different from eukaryotic and it contains nothing just like that of eukaryotes. It was the second difference. Methanogenesis present. Methanogenesis is the process or the big is the uh, type of archaea which is basically present in anaerobic condition. Anaerobic condition means that there is no free oxygen. And this archaea can live a dead condition. And what it is known as methanogen, it is known as methanogen when it 
exhale carbon dioxide inhale carbon dioxide mean that when it take carbon dioxide instead of oxygen then what happen it oxidize hydrogen and it is, is a product it will give us methane this bacteria is basically producing methane that's why it is known as this archaea basically producing methane that's why it is known as methanogen while here in bacteria methogen is absent because most of the bacteria uh, couldn't uh, survive with the carbon dioxide they are inhaling oxygen that's why here the product is just like water and we are explaining in plants that here uh, only um, the lactic fermentation will occur uh, alcohol fermentation will occur here in anaerobic uh, condition the another is extremo piles if you talk about the habitats of archaea so most of the archaea is extremo piles now what does this extremo piles mean extremo piles mean the extreme environment extreme environment may be salty may be acidity may be basic or may be high temperature so most of the archaea can live at high temperature high acidity high salty conditions while bacteria can live at every environment which may be extreme which may be normal or low from the normal uh, another is nitrification absent what does the nitrification means nitrification is a process in which the hydrogen is uh, sorry nitrogen is converting into an spray form means the ammonia this is basically converted by bacteria so here nitrification is present while in archaea nitrification is absent the last is no photosynthesis photosynthesis is a process in which the organism prepare their own food just like the plants plants can prepare their own food that's why plant can and plant photosynthesis occur while here archaea couldn't prepare their own food that's why photosynthesis do not occur here while some bacteria is present which can prepare their own food that's why photosynthesis occur in the bacteria so this was a lot about archaea and bacteria differences thanks for watching